guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the finalists for AGN GDM cycle 8. We got 14 entries, which is amazing, but sadly that does mean that I had to quote unquote eliminate two of you, so don't be disappointed. There will always be next cycle and there will always be future cycles, so let's get started. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to hit 490 subscribers by the end of the month and 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's get started. Okay, so the first finalist is Kit from AG Swimmer on YouTube and AG that Swimmer on Instagram. <coughs> her photo pop up here. Kit, this is super cute. I love her bandana. I also love the blurred plant in the background. The only things I change is number one, there are a few flyaways in her face, so maybe you could spray her hair down with water before you take the photo. And number two, one of her eyes isn't looking at the camera, so maybe you could fix that unless like that's just a defect with your doll, in which case it doesn't really matter, but it's still super cute. The next finalist is Peyton from AGCats underscore 19 on Instagram. Peyton, this is really cute. I love the sun on her face. I also love the aesthetic of this. My only critique for this is to sit her up straight a little bit, but still really cute. The next finalist is Kira from Dolls by the Dozen on Instagram. Kira, this is super cute. I love how some of her face is dark and some of it is lit up by the sun. I also love the trees in the background. The only thing I'd say, and this is just me being picky, is that is to spot heal some of the fly ways around her, but still super cute. The next photo is from Molly from AG Love Pug slash Wolves Family on YouTube and AG Love Pug underscore Wolves Family on Instagram. Molly, this is super cute. I love how simple this photo is. I also love all the colors in this. The only things I don't like are number one, she's looking down, so maybe you could have her looking up so that she's looking at the camera, but I also do think it looks cute with her not looking at the camera. And number two, it's a bit blurry or pixelated, so maybe you could focus, so maybe you could focus the camera a bit before you take the photo, but still super cute. The next photo, the next finalist is Clover from Mila Marie on Instagram, her photo pop up here. Clover, this is really good. I love the light colors in the background. I also love how bright her eyes are. The only thing I'd change is, and this is. <laughs> okay, anyways, as I was saying, the only thing I'd change, and this is me just being like super picky, is to turn her head the tiniest bit so her left eye is looking at the camera but still really good. The next finalist is, sorry, my window's open. Let's see how many distractions we can get during this video. The next finalist is Leah R from Roya Royale Diamond on YouTube and American Girl Doll underscore glitter on Instagram. Her photo pop up here. Leah R, this is super cute. I love her doll that she's carrying. I also love her dress. The only critique I have is to brighten her face up so we can see it better, but still super cute. The next finalist is Sage from Everything AG on YouTube and Every underscore Thing AG on Instagram, and she has competed with us a couple of times. Sage, this is super cute. I love the pink thing that you went for. I also love the pink butterflies. The only thing I'd change is to stand her up straight some more so that she's standing up straight and not like kind of like leaning back, but still super cute. The next finalist is Danny from pixiedust.ag on Instagram. Danny, this is amazing. I love her dress. Like when it was out, I literally wanted it but um, sadly I wasn't able to get it. I also love how the background gets more blurred the farther away from the camera it is. I have no complaints this week, you did a good job. The next finalist is Leah P from Paint.Ponies on TikTok. Normally I wouldn't say this, but she asked me to say it, so I'm saying it. 
Leah, this is super cute. I love how she's making a stop motion of her doll doing barrel racing. I also love how concentrated she looks, which is hard because dolls literally only have one facial expression. I have no critiques this week. You did a good job. The next finalist is Cora from After School Doll Time on Instagram. Cora, this is super cute. I love how she's getting a milkshake on a warm summer day. I also love her outfit. The only couple of things I don't like are number one, there's a flyway sticking up straight and it literally driving me crazy. So maybe you could spot heal that to remove it. And number two, the ruffle on her skirt is like almost in the middle. So maybe you could move it over a bit so that it's more towards the side, but still super cute. Alright, the next to last finalist is Leah A from American Girl underscore land on Instagram, her photo pop up here. Leah, this is super cute. I love how pretty this is. I also love the angle that you took this at. The only thing I'd say is to maybe spot heal some of the flyaways, but still super cute. Okay, the last finalist is Nanea from Clouds AG on YouTube. Nanea, this is super cute. I love her outfit. I also love how the tree leaves go from yellow to green. The only thing I'd say is to turn the exposure down a bit. I'll put a photo of like how I would have edited it and like the how much of each setting I gave on the screen. Um, just so you can see like how I think it should look. So like just so that she isn't as washed out, but it's still super cute. Okay, so normally I would rank the photos, but since this is the top 12, I don't rank these, so I'm gonna move on to the theme. So next week's theme is going to be summer activities week, so you can basically do whatever summer activity you want. And they are due June 18th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. As I was saying, they are due June 18th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, but I will be talking with all of you guys like in the group chat or emailing you guys because I'm actually going to be uh, out of town driving to my grandparents um, the day that I would normally be filming these, so I'm going to be talking to you guys to see like, how you guys want me to do it so the deadline might not be the day that I say in this video but so just keep an eye out on your email or your or the group chat and then please send in a white background photo of your doll <clears throat> against a white background or a plain background um, and it can either be a headshot or full body doesn't really matter and then if you're ever going to be out of town for like a week or so you can ask for however many themes that is and I'll give you however many themes that you need so that you can still participate in the competition so yeah I believe that's everything if I forgot something I'll put it in the description or the um, comment section I don't think I did because it's my eighth cycle so yeah please comment like and subscribe bye